Well, exactly one week into the election race and the campaigns on all sides of politics have hit top speed. Tony Abbott pulled on his runners to make pledges in Sydney today, while skills training was on the PM's priority. Today, a tale of two men and two cities. Kevin Rudd at church with his family in cold Canberra. Tony Abbott ran the city to surf with 85,000 others in picture-perfect Sydney. Guiding visually impaired Nathan Johnston 14 kilometres to the finish line in about 82 minutes. He made a splash at Bondi promising $15 million to help prevent drownings while Kevin Rudd was indoors. Looks pretty good to me. With a $35 million skills program to find work for 16 to 24 year olds. Here in Adelaide, his Labor colleagues took a chance to enjoy the sunshine. Amanda Rishworth planting a tree at Oaklands Park. Kate Ellis reminding young Australians to enrol to vote. Both trying to pressure Tony Abbott to reveal coalition costings. He still continues to be negative, still continues to uh, uh, have uncosted policies. I hope that Tony Abbott steps up to the plate and outlines just how he intends to pay for his promises. Frankly, uh, Kevin Rudd is the one that has a problem adding up numbers and Kevin Rudd is the one that needs to come clean. But it was a Labor cut under fire from the Greens today, claiming over 70% of South Australians are against the government's $2.3 billion cut to university funding. We need to be investing in education, not accelerating more dumb cuts. The reality is the Greens policies just don't add up. Elise Baker, Nine News.